So after a bit over a 700k drive today, we have got our shaker table. This is a new four, well not new obviously, it's old, but it's a four metre, four and a half metre by two metre shaker table. Quite an industrial thing, it came out of the Mangana gold mine in Tasmania. Uh, bloke that I've been talking to recently uh, bought a pile of these. Unfortunately he scrapped all the older ones, but uh, he saved some. That's all that matters, and I've managed to get my hands on one. So, this beast is made to be fed in the top here, it shakes and shuffles, and your heavy metals come out the end in the water, run right across the very edge. All the rubbish material that you don't want falls off here, and all the heavy metals fall off the other end. It's quite simply just a thread that goes in that joint, a pair of arms there. cam there and away she shakes big spring it's currently got an 11 kilowatt motor on it which I think is probably um, a little bit overkill hopefully we don't need to run the full 11 if we do we might need to uh, go to a petrol engine because uh, or buy a diesel gen set one of the two so we're going to get all the grease and gunk and stuff off it because it's been sitting around. Apparently there is actually gold on the table. Still in the riffles. So we'll very gently wash the top of the table. And see if we can't see something once I've got it wet. And uh, we've got to clean the Jeep as well. It was down a dirt road. Uh, yeah, like I say, the bottom uh, southeastern side of Tasmania. So, yeah. This electric motor suffered a little bit of damage when he was loading it with the excavator, but I've got another one of them sitting there ready to go. Yeah, we'll get it clean and uh, see what we're working with. Hopefully, it uh, shouldn't be too much of a big deal to work on. So you've got your adjustment points, and this just mounts into those cups and shakes. Very simple, very solid construction. As you see, she was a bit long for the trailer. But uh, we put some blocks in, got it there anyway. Nice shallow riffles. Yeah, we got the water bars and we got the uh, valves and stuff like that as well. Shucked under the table is actually like a timber and fiberglass by the looks of things with this big rubber body on it. Yeah, we'll get her washed off first, and we'll get her all lubed up, and uh, see if we can't turn it over, get it, get it to start shaking. Anyway, that'll be in uh, some later videos, I'll come back once I've got this cleaned up, we'll give it a blast out and clean it up, and uh, yeah, we'll give you a bit of an update of what she looks like when I've done that. Alrighty, this is going to need more of a clean up, it's got a lot of built up goo and grime in there, we're just going to keep hitting it with the hot washing knock it all out and then we'll fill it up with uh, diesel and get it clean. So these two pieces here fell out of the mechanism uh, either when it tipped over or when uh, we transported it here. As you can see we've got an oil line here which feeds oil through these drippers. I'm assuming you point one down at the crank, one at the uh, piston part here, maybe one each down at these points here. I suppose the crank would be underwater. Under oil, sorry. Um, here's your attachment point where them two bolts go through. There's your slides. This appears to be some kind of pre-load adjuster for those two dog bone shaped looking pieces. And I've just bashed a socket on the end of this little motor just to see how much power we actually need to turn this thing over. And in first gear we can actually do it with this little drill. So I've got a three horsepower compressor motor that's 240 volt because that's 415 volt. And we might see if we can't swap that over uh, tomorrow, hopefully, and uh, see if we can get her shaking. Because if we can get that shaking, all the rest of it's just plumbing, and obviously that's not too hard for someone like me. So.
shaking the life out of me. Yeah. Shut down's the uh, wild part. So it's just an M18 drill, a six amp in it, and it can do it. So oh, I've got a pretty good feeling that my uh, three horsepower compressor motor should be able to do it. It's got a fairly big gear reduc belt reduction. Can't be calling it a gear reduction when there's no cogs. But as you see, even with it grabbing hold of the table like that, it is shaking. Yeah. Extremely heavy duty, I haven't found a nameplate or anything on it yet actually. Come to speak of it. So uh, I wouldn't mind finding out who the manufacturer is. But uh, there appears to just be big bearing, big bearing there, like a wheel bearing. I haven't found what's on the uh, crank down there yet. But yeah, I need to find out what weight of oil would go in this. I'm assuming something like hydraulic oil. Yeah, yeah watch this out and uh, we should be good to go. I've hit it with heaps of degrees so that it's nice and clean and uh, yeah, we should end up with something something pretty cool. She's a big table. Yeah, if we can get it shaking tomorrow, I'll uh, try and run a bit of material across it just by hand and with a hose or with a water source of some description. Uh, we do have some pay dirt and uh, some core sample tailings um yeah so, so there we go thanks for watching this is uh something new and pretty exciting now that'll do